Buprenorphine is an example of a partial opiate agonist. When it binds to the opiate receptor, it stimulates the opiate receptor partially. This is enough to alleviate symptoms of opiate withdrawal and to help with cravings for opiates. When starting an individual on buprenorphine, it is given while a person is in opiate withdrawal. You can visualize this as the opiate receptors in the brain as being empty or open in a withdrawal state. And when buprenorphine is given, it alleviates withdrawal symptoms and helps with cravings for opiates. As the dose of a partial opiate agonist increases, there is a ceiling effect or plateau in terms of respiratory depression, such that further increases in the dose does not result in further respiratory depression. This provides relative safety in terms of overdose risk with a partial agonist compared to a full agonist. The following is a demonstration of precipitated withdrawal. Buprenorphine has a very high affinity for the opiate receptor. If it is given when a full opiate agonist is bound to the opiate receptors, it will displace them. It is this relative difference between full activation of the receptor to partial activation of the opiate receptor that causes precipitated withdrawal. When an individual is on a therapeutic dose of buprenorphine, it provides relative protection against overdose. You can visualize this as most of the opiate receptors in their brain being occupied by buprenorphine. If an individual uses a full opiate agonist such as heroin on top of their buprenorphine, the euphoria and the effects of the full opiate agonist, including respiratory depression, are blocked as buprenorphine has a higher affinity to the opiate receptor. This provides relative protection against overdose.